Hi everyone, it's Miss Branch, the art teacher, and today we're going to make one of the lizards that live in the rainforest, and I decided we're going to make a chameleon. And one of the reasons I did is I like the way they have two toes for their feet and their big sticky tongue, and I made this tongue so that it'll come, the tongue, so it'll come out and go back in and come out and we can push it back in so we're gonna get started so first things first let me adjust my camera turn and let's look at our supplies so we're gonna need a sheet of construction paper 9 by 12 Make sure that's in there two pipe cleaners a little piece full of paper red paper for the tongue uh, scissors wiggly eyes hot glue and you know you gotta be careful with hot glue because it can burn you I will also need a ruler now I have a 12 inch ruler that's a little longer than 12 inches and I have an 18 inch ruler so it doesn't matter which one you have it's just as long as it goes across the paper and you can use a pencil but I'm just gonna use a marker just so to make sure that you guys can see the lines alright so let me get started first things first with your uh, 9 by 12 paper you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise and normally we call this a hot dog fold and it doesn't matter which way you have your paper you're just gonna make a line from one corner to the next now if you have a 12 inch ruler and it's just 12 inches it might be a little too short to get from edge to edge so you might have to slide the ruler down if you have a short ruler but I have an 18 inch ruler so it's a little longer so I can line it up corner to corner and it doesn't matter which corner you go to you can go left or right and like I said I'm gonna use a marker just to make sure you guys can see my line and I'm just gonna make a quick line and that's all we need the ruler for so I'm gonna go ahead and put my marker away and the next step is to cut on this line so as I am cutting on this line, alright, so you're going to end up with two pieces that are the same and we're going to save these pieces because we're going to end up using them to help us to make the face and part of the fin on our chameleon. And then this part is going to become the body. So now we have what I believe it's an isosceles triangle. Two long sides, one short side. And so now what I need to do is take this long side and this long side and fold them to the middle. Now, those of you who have seen my shark video, it is very similar to the way we made the shark um, last year or the year before. But this time we're going to turn it into a lizard. So I'm bringing the ends in. So now I have, this is going to be the chameleon's body. So this is going to fold over top of this, and we're going to glue that down. But before we can glue that down, we have some other steps. All right, so now that I have folded this, this line here in the middle is a guideline. And I'm going to give it a little crease on both sides. This guideline, I'm going to cut the ribs down to that line. And you want it to go a little bit past that line so that the body can curve. If you don't go past that line, the body will not curve. So let me go ahead and start cutting. And I'm going to skip a little space here at the big end because that's part of the head. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm left-handed, so I'll just turn it upside down to make sure everybody can see. And cut to that line, and go past that line just a little bit, so to make sure that you cut that line on both sides. Because sometimes, even though it's folded, um, sides don't always line up. Now, if you cut them pretty thin, you will get a lot of movement. So, But if you cut them thick, your lizard will move kind of choppy. So, it's just kind of thin, not too thin. Make sure you go all the way down. So, a little bit past that line. And just keep going. Just keep cutting. Just keep cutting. Just keep cutting. Just like Dory would say. 
Except she would say could just keep fishing. And like right now I'm getting a kind of a slant because of the way I'm holding my scissors which is um, perfectly fine. I've also tried one time when I tried to, to use this to make dra a dragon. Um, I ended up cutting little zigzags. That took a long time. I'd have to make that video one day for you guys. I was just playing around to see how it goes. Now these are getting a little big so I can go back and cut those a little skinnier for me in the middle because I had some space. And I'm going to go cut that one a little skinny too. And I'm going to keep going. Make sure I don't go too far. And try not. And if you go past that line a little bit, when you get down here by the tail, you might end up cutting the tail off. Which is okay. Um, normally, my, my should be straight up and down. But it's fine. It's as long as it works. And I'm going to go down as close to the edge as I can on this tail. But not so close that I end up cutting the tail off. So there I have my lines, and I still have a couple of big ones here. I think I'll go ahead and cut those in half before I open it up. And that one, and one, two more. That should do it. So now when I open it up, looks like, um, actually it kind of looks like um, tree leaves, the way that I actually cut it on a slant. But what I'm going to do is fold this in, and fold this side in and test it. So as you can see it moves. So making those ribs my lizard moves and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and glue my body shut. Now you can use regular glue if you have it and you should be able to go ahead and get that done. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do this side and uh, another side. But if you have hot glue already heated up you can also just use hot glue. Ugh. Yeah, it's a little sticky. I kind of left the top off a little too long. And I'm just going to bring this around and fold it. Press it down a little bit so that it gets sticky. If you have a little trouble with it, you can always put a little dot of hot glue in there. And be careful not to burn yourself. Alright. Now this extra piece right here at the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off because I don't need it. I probably could have left it, but it's okay. So now I have my body for my chameleon. So now I've got to make this curve part for the face. And I made a little extra part because the curves I made didn't close. And then some of the chameleons have this like little bone structure or wave up on top. Some of them have some other features. But we're going to go ahead and make the face now. So what I'm going to do to make the face, I'm going to take this triangle part here. And I'm just going to line it up till I see where it will still go in. So about right there. And if you need to, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line right there that I know that it'll fit inside. So this front part I'm going to use for my face. And I just dropped my top. So give me a quick second, everyone. I just dropped my top. So now, now it's still together, so I still have the two pieces. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut that line. And I'm going to put these pieces off to the side because I'm going to still need some of that later. And all I'm going to do, let's see if it fits inside. Um, It's a little too big. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. Make sure it can fit inside. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it can fit inside. Now in this part, I'm just going to cut a curve. To make my chameleon's face. So I have a little curve. And so now. I can just take some glue. And put it in. Now if I want my chameleon's face to go like kind of look up. Like I have this one going up. I'm just going to flip it upside down. So that it goes up instead of looking down. But it's totally up to you. You get to decide which way you want your chameleon's face to turn. So since I did this one going up. By flipping it. I think I'll leave this one looking down. Maybe he's looking at a bug or a leaf below him or something. Alright. 
So again, I'm going to take a little bit of glue, just put it right here on this edge, and I make sure that I have this, this is the bottom, so I don't want to stick it on this side, I want to stick it on the sides where the rib is located, so then I'll put that one in there, and this one I want to make sure I'm going the right way, so let's see, um, yes, so this is going to go down too, so again, a little bit of glue right here on the edge and again I'm just going to stick that in there and so now I want to close up the face a little bit so what I made was a little piece took a little piece of this leftover and I just cut it a little bit off and made like a band-aid so I cut that off I cut that off and then I folded it in half and so now I can make it like a band-aid to connect these two pieces to me um, so that the face is just closed up so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna run some glue down uh, oops got it all over my finger and another piece of paper uh, a little bit right there on the edge now of course I could just use hot glue and it will do the same thing. But if I don't have to um, use the hot glue, I'm not. But we're definitely going to need the hot glue when we make the legs. Now, I can make the part that goes on top. Now, this piece looks a little too small. I mean, you can use it if that's what you want. But I think I'm going to just go ahead and I don't need to hold both pieces. So I'm just going to take another little piece and I'll just cut it off. And let's see, I can do like that, and then I'm just going to cut a curve in the top, and that looks good. And now I'm just going to fold it a little bit, and now I'm just going to make a little cut to that fold. So one side's going to be glued on this side, and one side's going to be glued on this side, made little, two little tabs. So now... I can put a little bit of glue on this side and a little bit of glue on this side and then just taking my two tabs just gluing it at the top of that triangle peak now I could cut this smaller if I wanted it smaller I could cut it smaller and while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes on so I'm going to put the eyes ugh, probably about right here now this one Tom, I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue because sometimes using regular um, glue um, with something that's a little heavy it takes a little longer to set so there's one now I'm going to flip over and I'm gonna put a little teeny dot over here and there's two I'm going to drop that on there and now I can press it down without getting myself burned. I'm going to go ahead and put the top on here for the moment. So now we have our lizard's body. And now I'm ready to make the legs. Now, I ended up making kind of like another little band-aid to help hold the legs down. And we'll definitely have to hot glue the legs on because they are way heavier than if I was just to use... Um, use uh, just regular uh, stick glue so the first things first I need to make the toes before I glue them on so I'm gonna come to one end and about that looks about like three inches I'm gonna bend and make an M so that's how I made my two toes you know what I'm going to come back and make this M a little longer on this side there we go so I made an M, and then I'm going to just twist these toes together a little bit so they don't come loose. And then this little extra piece, I'm going to twist that back to the pipe cleaner. So there's my first two toes. Now I'm going to do that same thing on this side again. So I'm going to make this side a little long. Then I'm going to come down and back up and back down for my M. And again, I'm going to twist one toe 
and then twist the other two. And then this little piece right here, I'm going to twist it together. And this one came out kind of short, so I think this will be my back legs. So I'll do that in just a moment, but this time I'm going to have to make these front ones a little smaller so I can make these front legs a little longer like I did on that one. So let's see. There's my M. Okay. And twist. 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 Uh, open up. And twist for me. There we go. And then the same thing over here. Bend up, down, up, down. And there's my M. Bring this leg down just a little bit. And twist. And twist. Then twist. So yeah, this one ended up being not much longer. But it's okay if they're one longer. Somehow when I made this one, this one seemed to be longer than this one. Or maybe it's just the way I have it bent. That's why I'm thinking that one was longer. That's probably what it is. Alright. So now before I glue them on, I'm going to make myself some more band-aids. So I'm going to just take this. Cut another little rectangle off. And I'm going to cut that in half. So I have two kind of band-aids to help hold it on. So... Under here, I'm going to put my glue. And put a kind of like a big puddle of glue. And then I'm going to stick my first legs in that glue. And carefully take one, what I'm calling a band-aid. You know what? And before I do that band-aid, I'm going to put a little glue on top of the pipe cleaner. So now it's getting to be a lot of glue and you can still see, and you might even see the steam coming off so I'm going to carefully lay that on top Woo, hot Woo, hot 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 be careful it is hot and I'm gonna slide it over and I'm gonna let that sit for a moment whoo that was kind of hot okay careful all right there and so now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom real quick so then I can start working on the tongue so let's see a little bit of glue hot and uh, oh careful and I'm gonna put my back legs into the glue careful I got a little close on that time. And then put a little bit of glue on top of that. And I'm going to hold it so that the glue will not fall off. And I'm going to put my glue back on its stand so it won't fall over and mess up my desk a bit. And now I'm going to take this, what I call my Band-Aid. And I'm going to lay that on top of there. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. And now I'm going to let my chameleon cool off while I work on the tongue. Alright, so now for the tongue. Now chameleon tongues have that little fat, big, st sticky, um, fatty part on the end, kind of like frogs. So what I'm going to do with this little rectangle, I'm going to fold it in half and cut. And then I'm also going to, on one of the rectangles, I'm going to cut a little piece off and make sure that'll fit in the mouth. And that's a little too long, so I'm going to cut that a little shorter. And I think I'll make it a little skinnier. There we go. This is going to be kind of like a little band-aid that's going to go over top of this, this piece. But i got to make this piece a lot skinnier. Now, if you need to, you can draw like a... Hmm. Oh, 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 a C or U or a balloon. And make the long tongue skinny and cut it out or if you are able to you can just cut it out without drawing but it's totally up to you but I drew it so you get the idea so now I'm going to cut on that line my big sticky tongue with my chameleon that catches insects and there we go 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, this is going, oops, you know what I need, I forgot to do? I forgot to put something on the end so it won't slide out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get use regular glue. At the end of the tail, I'm going to use one of these little scraps, and I'm going to put it there and fold it. There. So now when I make this band-aid, uh, sorry about that, everyone. I will call my brother back in just a moment. So now I'm going to put two pieces of glue on these sides, and this will keep this from coming out of the mouth. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of glue on these sides. And inside the mouth, right here, I'm going to carefully put this here. Oh, and try and make sure I keep that in the middle part where there is no glue. And it's a little hard to see. Maybe I should do that part first if I ever have to do this video again. Because you can see inside the mouth. And I'm going to move it up and down. And make sure that it's not in the glue. So there's my tongue. In and out. You know what might be an easier way I could do this? If I got a little piece of straw. And then stuck this paper in the straw and glued the straw down. Maybe I'll think of that for the next time. That might make it easier for the tongue to move in and out. But now, I have my chameleon. And they can bend his legs. And move his toes. So everyone, I hope you had fun learning how to make the chameleon a rainforest lizard. And I will see you guys later. Bye.